And officials announced today there is one confirmed case of COVID-19 in Hamilton County. Not long after that, St. Paul's Episcopal Church posted on Facebook saying one of their rectors tested positive for the virus. Tonight we'll take a look at the impact COVID-19 is having on local churches. Sydney Edwards tells us what some churches are doing this Sunday. Sydney. Josh and Kim, now we know where the virus might have started. St. Paul said Father Brad Whitaker returned from a conference in Louisville and felt ill. St. Paul's is taking steps to sanitize the facility, but some people think it's already spreading. If there's one, there are, there are many. Sandy Tyndall said when she heard Father Whitaker had the coronavirus, she was filled with sadness. Almost makes me cry to think about it. But she visited the church once before and talked about how beautiful it was. She says she heard today that her church in Crossville canceled all of their services until the first of the month, including her wedding service. So we were getting married um, next on the 20th, next Friday, and the rector called this morning and said the services were canceled. And Even though Hamilton County officially has the virus, Tyndall and her soon-to-be husband aren't letting that change their life. We're old and we're in the category that we should be cautious, but we're going to live our lives too. Earlier today, Mayor Andy Burke declared a state of emergency for the city of Chattanooga. When asked how this would change church services, he encouraged leaders to think about other methods. I'm a person of faith. I would never tell anybody um, that they shouldn't uh, worship because that's... That's just to me part of what we do in, in this world. The folks at Silverdale Baptist Church are listening to those suggestions. Ministry is still happening. Pastor Tony Walliser says they're changing weekend services. They'll be recording them and putting them online instead. We realized that things were escalating and um, we realized that we, being the largest church in town, that we needed to take some kind of step to. He said officials told him groups over 250 would be a risk. For a church with over 6,000 in their congregation, that's a risk he didn't want to take. The pastors are still contacting, counseling's taking place. We've said to our seniors, Seniors, if you have any needs and don't want to go out, we'll make sure we'll get something to you. Pastor Walliser says other services like the work the church does with the community kitchen and rescue mission will still continue as planned. Josh. Well, Sydney, thank you. Pastor Walliser added this is just a temporary change. You can watch the online services on the Silverdale Baptist Church website.